Quick little video just to show you how you can test your mid journey or other AI pattern tiles up close to see if they're going to be if they're going to work seamlessly or not because I've had a lot of derisory comments people saying that they don't like AI patterns and pattern tiles don't work and all that so this is how you can check basically one of the ways you can check apart from using a seamless checker which I showed you before which you can get online I mean if you just google seamless pattern checkers lots of them will show up online too you can drag the tile into that and to see how it's going to work or you can do it as I've showed you before with placing the tile onto a larger document and then copying and dragging it over to see how it works. Okay, right, well we fixed the white lines in one of the earlier videos. So if you want to know how to do that, the white hair lines that show up in Affinity Designer, we fixed that. So have a look at that earlier video to show you how to do that. Now then, to check, so I've just called this tile in. I have upscaled it already. What you want to do is go to the crop tool. Oh, before you do that, click on it in the layers panel and do command J to duplicate it. Then go to the crop tool and you can see we've got this blue line. Now drag it slowly down until you see the red line there and then let go. And then we go back to the background and command J again. Click back on the crop and go from the bottom and drag that up to the top until you see the red line and now we want to go up to the top where it says flip vertical we flip that and then we highlight the other one and we flip that and then what we do is enlarge so you can see this blue line is what we're looking at and then deselect so we kind of know the area to look at can enlarge it some more and then we can check it go along and see you can see how i'm moving the white line kind of flashes up momentarily that just again that kind of proves it's, it's a screen thing really it's just how the program is kind of like representing so it's not really there it won't be there in the in the finished product so that's that so then if we go down again reduce it down and we hide those go back to the main one Control j go back to the crop tool slide that along till we get the green and then back to the bottom one Control J and slide it along the other way until we get the green. And then we go up to the flip horizontal on both and bring that up so there's the center. And then if we deselect and then we can just go down the center line and we can see it's all matching quite nicely so that's how you can check your pattern is working so as you can see this is this was created in mid journey 5 and there aren't you know as people have said anomalies yes i mean undoubtedly ai does produce anomalies but you know it's constantly improving and i think this is pretty cool as it is you know i, I like the way it's come out i haven't had to retouch this one at all really it's all come out really really nicely so you know i think it depends on the your prompting style what you're asking it to create and the quality and all that kind of thing i mean prompting makes such a massive difference so anyway as i said this was just a quickie just so you can check and as you can see there's no white lines and everything's all matching up beautifully so there you have it and this design actually is part of a set of digital papers that is on my website if you're interested so if you want to use them for scrapbooking and all that kind of thing so you print them off yourself at home um, then you can use them as you will there's 10 of them in all 10 floral patterns i'll put the link below so thanks for watching that's it for now thanks for watching i'd love you to like and subscribe it will really help my channel